the new chapter, the new season for the all guys version of Intense TV. I'm excited too, but <laughs> I'm not nearly as excited as you. Oh man! You know what's coming up? You just win the lottery or something? Oh, I found a dollar on the way in. Well, for you, that probably qualifies as a lottery. And it was heads up. Yeah, uh, awesome. It's not a Duke money, but McDouble. it's a dollar. That's a, that's a McDouble right there, son. Get my McDouble on. All right, let's 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 not talk about food. Okay. Let's not talk about dollars. Let's yeah. not talk about your issues, clearly. Let's talk about AIW Point Break, September 23rd, Turner's Hall, 6 o'clock. Special start time. Special, special start time. Yeah. I voted to move it up. I, 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 I got a drink, so mm -hmm. I need more time in the day. I need to get my, my drink down. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Turner's Hall, Sunday, September 23rd, huge, huge lineup of matches. I mean, this is this is one of the best shows. I'm going to say this is one of the best shows since Absolute 7. Actually, oh. it's the first show since Absolute 7, but that's okay. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. Top to bottom. Unbelievable matches. This is how we start the year off. The the fiscal year for AIW. The huh? fiscal year. Very, very good. Like that. Very good. <laughs> Do my homework, Duke. Very good. Now, how, how are we going to start it off? What do, what do, what do, we, got, what do we got for our AIW? I mean, we've thing? got several matches. That, and then we could... Well, you should probably mention them. Because let's just mention the main event right okay, off the bat. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. That's how we roll. That's how we roll here. Who's challenging for the absolute title? A C H. And who's a champ? That'd be Tim Evan Dunst. Yes, it is. Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> I've never been so excited, Duke. Well, then you need to get out more. Point break. This is point break. I bought tickets in case I get fired. Okay, that's a lot. I've already bought tickets. You haven't bought anything in about four years. I scalped tickets. Okay. Get at me, dog. <laughs> anyway, that's right. As we said, ACH challenging Tim F. and Dons for the championship. ACH on a, would you say, meteoric rise to the top? I mean, what, a year and a half ago he was working opening bonus matches? That's right, Gary at J. The, at the name redacted Invitational. Oh, how about that, huh? Mm. 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 So, from that to championship match in a year and a half at Point Break, ACH, he's got a pretty good shot here. Oh, he's, yeah, yeah. He's put on some classics in AIW over the years. Over the year and a half, excuse me, years. <laughs> I'm, I'm dating him already. Not like you would date him, but... Um, <laughs> he's not Delaney. No, he's not. He is not. But he uh, is ACH. But, I mean, think about it. Think about ACH. Main event, AIW now. He's just been in Ring of Honor. He was in Chikara's Young Lions Cup. He's been all over the place, and he's looking to break out. Finals of J-Lit? To get that championship that he had he had in his hands mm -hmm. at the J-Lit, but he couldn't hold on to it. I think he's got a good shot. I don't know. Oh, I like his chances, but I like his chances even better if he wasn't going against the champion, Tim F. and Dunst. Well, let, let's do this. If, okay. If, 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 I, I think you'll agree with me on this. Let's show the people, because I know you're a big fan of the people. Mm, I you love, love people. the people. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show the people ACH AR Fox oh, from, from Straight Outta Compton. You crazy. <laughs> you're so crazy. 30-minute Iron Man match. Not all 30 minutes, just what we like to call highlights. Oh. So let's go ahead and go to that. Let's do it. We'll come back. We'll have so much more. It'll be crazy. Yeah, we're going to do He'll it. He'll laugh a lot. We'll talk about <laughs> Replace Nation in this match against AR Fox, but didn't have to be a 30 minute Iron Man match. We just have a regular match. And well, he wanted the 30 minute match. Well, indeed, the option was. He wanted to showcase himself. Because he was originally supposed to be in that four way match that we saw earlier tonight in the place of Alex Cologne. But he was just as quick. We've seen these guys. Hey, now. The first time they went to war was when like these two were matched up. And they went for close to 20 minutes then. But that was just for one fall. Now they're going to be tonight, no matter how many falls happen, whether it's one or whether it's 20, this is going for half an hour between two of the most exciting young prospects in professional wrestling today. Yeah, if you're watching this at home right now, settle in. Turn your cell phone off. These two are going to go to absolute war. And what's interesting is, there you see it right there, Air Fox is a guy who I don't think has ever anticipated having to worry about being demanded by AEW fans. The same thing of ACH. First time he showed up, fans didn't know who he was. Fans hadn't heard of him. 
But since then, he has been one of the most requested returns in AIW. Every time we announce his match, he seems to win over new fans after every show. When I ask who caught their eye more than anyone, ACH is the name I most commonly hear. But right now, AR Fox is going to look to take to the air. But look at that! Nobody home AR Fox lands his feet as ACH clears the rope back into the ring. Those matches. And if you're at home watching this on DVD, thank you. Thank you for buying the DVD. Thank you for listening to us talk about wrestling all night. But you're yeah, not getting time, the experience. Usually you just talk about chicks and stuff. You're not getting the full experience. There is nothing like AIW Live. There's nothing like Absolute Touch Wrestling Live. And I guarantee, as good as this match is going to be on DVD, as good as it's going to be on home video, those of us that are here live are going to be talking about it for years to come. Ace getting ready for a 30-minute Iron Man match with Uha Nation. Look, it, who is it, a completely different competitor than ACH. And look at these nip-ups into the Ace Crushers. ACH counters the third one, but then eats the boot. And he's caught that ACH gave that break to. And we we're always looking to give that break. And AR Fox just using that bottom rope, and now Fox running a boot sole off the ring post. And look at I can sit here and go, oh, AR yeah, Fox is in. Is, oh, and there's almost like right a now. funny shoot. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at, look at! Ah! Great pride in the role I have in Absolute Tense Wrestling! Oh! Are you kidding me? That shit was crazy. Can miss Absolute Tense Wrestling. Oh. No! Oh! The two of them just being beaten. ACH returning it. And all the pump kick as ACH heads to the top rope. And now, ACH. What? Wait a second. Air Fox looking, looking one more time for the low wing paint. ACH counters, slingshot over, rolling through his air Fox. Oh, oh, oh. he's caught. ACH only able to get a two count. Now rolling through one, two. Looking for the Irish whip across, countered out. And planting him. ACH plants him center of the ring. That back kick, trying to get the distance. <laughs> now heading up top looking, and indeed that frog splash, the elevation, but they coming now, elevating, and rolling through. That's Bailey Driver rolling through, oh. springboard for 51, oh, two, three, no! You got a friend who sees Monday Night Raw, sees that stuff on Friday night, and says, I can't believe you still watch it. I watched it when I was a kid. Show them this DVD. Show them this, this match. I mean, make them you think we've run out of things to say. We've run out of, of ways to call these moves. You have to think on their side. Uh, oh, that's trying it. Trying to figure out what it's going to take now. Squaring up again, driving him down to the knee, and now it will take three seconds for that hand to hit, but they're running out quickly on it. Here, Fox needs to make the pinfall, needs to make that cover. 15 seconds to go, and ACH gets that bottom rope now. Oh, you want to talk about the The countdown is on, and Air Fox scrambling to get that pin.
The second of which is B.J. Whitmer defending the Intense Division Championship that he just won at Absolution. Uh-huh. Against? Against. Can you can you do it this time? Or? Well, I know his name's Eddie Kingston. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Eddie Kingston, B.J. Whitmer, yeah. in, in what amounts to effectively a rematch from Absolution 6, uh... B.J. Whitmer was victorious in that match. Since that time, B.J. Whitmer and AIW has just, much like ACH, gone through the roof, the winning matches left and right, while Eddie Kingston became the first grand champion of Chikara. So you've got two guys that are going nowhere but up, and they're ready to butt heads. And in that last match, if I remember correctly, Eddie Kingston was hurt. Eddie Kingston had a bad knee, You're right. but he still competed uh -huh. and still went with BJ for 15 minutes, oh. throwing BJ all over the ring, but somehow BJ came out on top. But this time, it could be a little different. Yeah, it could. You never know what could happen, but I'm excited for it. I know you're excited. <laughs> I know, I, I know Point you're excited. break! I can't wait for 923! <sighs> Aaron, you know... Hey, let's go to highlights. Can we Can we do that? Let's go to some highlights. Are you going to take some Riddler or oh, anything? Pardon the interruption! We're going to highlights, brother. Let's go to BJ and Eddie from Absolution 6. <sighs> the other match I've been waiting for, which I have personal interest in, Faith versus Nothing. Indeed. Ricky Shane Page versus Vincent Nothing. It will be a no disqualification, no count out, anything goes matchup later on this evening. Here we see a test of strength. And B.J. Whitmer able to get the upper hand on Eddie Kingston. Kind of a shock here. Both of these men, pretty similar in stature. B.J. Whitmer, I believe, has a little bit of size advantage in the height department. But Eddie Kingston able to counter that with an advantage in the weight department. But you can tell that these two men are just feeling themselves out. And this match is not to steal a line from you. It could explode at any moment. You're going to see chops, you're going to see kicks, you're going to see just a brutal style here. And a beautiful maneuver there. Together. This is just, it just happens to be the first time ever that somebody was smart enough to book them against each other. And it's here at Absolution 6 in front of the great fans of Cleveland. Well, what, they, what you would call the great fans of Cleveland. I don't know how great they are. They're, they're a bunch of idiots in my opinion. BJ Whitmer here showing his agility. Amazing maneuvers for a man his size to reverse that arm bar. It has dominated everywhere he's been. He's been to Chicago. He's been to Ring of Honor. He's been to Combat Zone Wrestling. IWA Mid-South. You name it, this man has been there and dominated. Hey, he's one of the legitimate tough guys in our sport. Definitely a guy you would want on your side in a bar fight, that is for sure. And BJ Whitmer having none of it and just driving that form. And Oh, and a diving forearm snap. Stretching it out, stepping on it, and dropping all that weight down on that injured knee. Wise strategy. We know the striking ability of Eddie Kingston, but you can't get that good base if you can't stand up. If you're in close quarters, you don't get the maximum effect of those strikes. But look, Kingston, he's just trying to chop away at the legs. He's trying to do something right now that distracts B.J. Whitmer from continuing to work on the injured knee. And... Uh-oh. And Kingston able to force B.J. Whitmer up and over that top rope. No. You know what? Don't listen to these idiots. You could risk further. Oh. All the way through and into the guardrail. Look at him. He's got it on. This should be over. Again, trying to stretch out B.J. Whitmer. Oh, it is a stretch since these fans are biased to somebody. Like, they always yeah. chant for... You instead of me, or whatever. You're playing uh, field, and that's what they've done tonight. And listen to those shots. Those sickening elbows raining down into the side of the face. Hey, you Kingston. said earlier. Well, there's two count only. Once again. Pedro, you said earlier that referee Tom Dunn might come into play here. DVD audience here, but you know, only here in AI. Oh man, big exploder type suplex. We have some of the lowest, slimiest fans in the round. They're grimy. And oh, beautiful suplex there. 
start in favor of Eddie Kingston because he's pounded B.J. Whitmer senseless. It could happen. I'm, I'm not going to argue that. Ducking the close line. Here comes B.J. Whitmer. Oh, big. Oh, 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 big oh. Keep going for the cover. That's it. No! And a, a chop. And a turn in return. Oh, listen to this. Uh. It's not even a smack, it's a thud. Look at these reverse knife edge chops back and forth. Oh, oh, that was it right there. You ever seen anybody get pinned off a knife edge chop? It could happen tonight at Absolute and Six. Get pinned? You could see someone knocked out by a knife edge chop. And there is a boot from Eddie Kingston. And more of those sickening chops. Oh no, not next, Scrambler. Oh. Dumped it right on his head. Scrambled his egg, yo. Not another. Another one. Going for the cover. Well, one. That's it. What a match. No. Two. Kingston stalking BJ Whipper in the corner with a big mafia kick in the corner. Wait a Sitching second. Trying to elbow his way out with the suplex attempt. Another elbow. They broke free. That clutch suplex and up and over. That wrist clutch suplex. No! Eddie Kingston kicked up. BJ Whitmer off the ropes and a second big boot. Missing the third. Kingston up. On a lariat, but it doesn't take Whitmer off his feet. A spinning back fist, dropping into one knee. We've seen Eddie Kingston here in AIW before, but not this vicious. Did you see that? A sliding forearm shot. Took down again. Unbelievable matchup here in our second match of the evening. And what a maneuver there, but Eddie Kingston's on his feet. Driving him face first into the canvas, pulling him back up. <laughs> oh man, that means it's just highlights after highlights after good stuff after great stuff. Are you excited? Uh, I'm real excited. So as we just told you, that of course, Eddie versus BJ from mm -hmm. Absolution 6, as you can see, ridiculously, ridiculously off the chain match. Right. Crowd loved it. Mm -hmm. They both loved it. Yeah. Talked to him after the show. They both thought it was great. They talked um, to you? Yeah, they talked to me. They don't talk to me. Why would they? And uh, they're both really looking forward to this match. I think this could be one of the best matches on the, on the show. That's just my opinion for what it's worth. It'll be one, at least one of the top seven matches on the show. Uh, there are more than seven on the show, though, right? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. You're going to order them out? You're going to rank them in order of importance? or? Well, it depends. We... I mean, well, you don't have a match on the show. I do not. That is true. I do not. Although somebody was asking you for one, but we can get to that later. We'll cover that later because what we, we got to do right now is we got to go back because you yeah. forgot. See, yeah. I knew you'd forget. I knew you'd forget. We got to go back to our main event, mm -hmm. number one, oh, ACH right. Tim Donst. We already showed you ACH's highlights, mm -hmm. talked him up. Mm -hmm. He's really looking forward to this chance. Mm -hmm. But he's got to get through Tim F. and Dunst. Who's the champ? He is the champ. Yeah, I got that at the scoop. Yeah, well, nothing gets by you. Not I'm telling you. Scoop. You're like a, you're like a wall. I'm like just a... come and you just grab these, hit you, and you just pass them out to everybody. I'm just a human scooper. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a career. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you some highlights from JT Lightning Tournament Night 2 oh. with uh, Tim Donst in a four-way. Tim Donst, Ethan Page, Flip Kendrick, and Facade. And you're going to oh. see why yeah. Tim Donst used this to propel him to winning the championship at Absolution 7. So we're going straight from BJ to the four-way, right? That usually costs extra, but you would know more about it than I would. <laughs> Never really. I don't want to win money. Hey, talk to you about sexist. Let's just go, let's just go to the clips. Yeah. We have Michael the Bomber Facade, the man of many nicknames. Oh, oh, look at this. What a plan. 
That is a plan, yeah. A little bit of collusion, as you said, between all ego Ethan Page and Flip Kendrick and I don't know, uh, chest flexor Skip uh, Town as soon as it became obvious that none of his guys were winning tonight. And Flip Kendrick's making do on his own here. Well, you know, he had other, so, other affairs. Tim Dons joining in, turning them both over to put a Boston Crab on facade. One has to wonder exactly how Facade is going to find, him, find his way out of his predicament. But Flip Kendrick may have the answer. He just takes that. Mentor, mentee exchange. Oh, is he up. or isn't he involved with Flexor Industries? But apparently he is not. Because it was actually the AIW crowd that tweeted and petitioned Matt Wadsworth, AIW acting president, for Ethan Page to be invited into the J-Lit. You think he would pay him back by, you know, I, he is always creeping while you're sleeping. I was going to ask something about that. You know. Lately. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, Flip Kendrick's taking Tim Downs down to the mat with a kick to the legs. Oh, oh my. Yeah. W fans to go deep in this tournament. Many people predicted that he would just outright win this tournament, but he was out in the first round, eliminated by Spanky. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Uh oh! Ooh. Wow! Women's wrestling expert and independent wrestling expert is Ethan Page. Don's has facade in the gut wrench. Facade escapes. This could be facade's night here. This could be. Be one way to recover from a first round loss would be taking this fatal four way. And he just takes Don's. I think Don's caught him. Don's did catch him. No, oh, there it is. Facade taking the brunt of that on his head. Oh, he kicks out. Split with Flexor Industries going against. Whoa! Uh, Girl Dynamite, a very impressive return to Girls' Night Out last month. What a drop kick. Oh, watch out for Facade. He's, I think he's going for that Eagle Boy clothesline. No! Oh, he kicks it. Facade. Oh, look out for Flip. Springboard DDT. Facade looks like he's down for the count. Oh! Uh, He's done now. But Tim oh, Donst. Donst. Roll up. No, no. Oh, Donst has got his dust hill Donst on. Straight out of that incredible move. Donst is wrenching back on that. Well, those were delightful highlights. Whoa. What happened to you? Did it finally, whatever you took, finally wear off? Adderall, Ritalin, Oxycontin, Oxycodone. Percocet. Say no to drugs, Xanax. kids. This, this right oh, here. Oh, I'm right kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. I got you. I got oh, you yeah, good. You got me. Uh, there you go again. Can I borrow oh. 10 bucks? Absolutely not. Oh. Why on earth would I give you money? Because I want to see that match in its entirety. Okay, so? So I want to go to Smart Mark Video. The video's on demand. We got all these matches and stuff. Some of them are. If you have the ability to go online to smartmarkvideo.com mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and either buy a DVD yeah. or get the the download, mm -hmm. why do you need money from me if you've got the internet? You're paying for that, or are you stealing it from your neighbor? Wi-Fi, baby. <laughs> I got that hookup. Uh, I love circle, it, man. circle K Wi-Fi yeah, in your right. apartment. Okay, well, good for Ooh, you. And fresh coffee. <sighs> hey. Yes. I want to talk about this whole card because I'm really excited, especially about one performer. Okay. Canadian. Right. Very hot. She is hot. Uh, uh, muscular. Yeah, she's pretty ripped. Are we? Uh, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Salisa. Ethan Page. Oh, dear God, you are so gay. <laughs> gay? <sighs> Ethan Page, he's got the body that rocks the body. That's a party I don't want an invitation to, so you can just go ahead and shred mine, okay? Because I won't be there. Well, maybe you should get up and eat cereal at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. He's on a special diet. I got a job, son. I can't eat cereal at 1 o'clock. I'm doing taxes. Oh, what do you oh, want from man. me? Oh. Well, you know what? Ethan Page will be with... What's her name? She'll be, what's her name? Yeah, yeah. Silesia. The one that carries his bags and stuff. Well, she's trained, but that's a whole other story. She's kind of an old bag. Oh, dude. 
Not well, that's cool. what he says. Not I'm, cool. I'm not, so, I'm not that interested in her. Well, that's okay. Well, I'm interested in his Ethan opponent. Page is gonna be I'm interested in his opponent. His opponent, Davey Vega. That's yeah, what. I, yeah, that's going to be a good Vega. match. Ethan Page, Davey Vega, Styles clash a little bit. One, as we just learned, is ripped and rocked out, and apparently oh. enjoys rocking the party with his body. With that body. <sighs> hey, he's a good wrestler, but he also knows karate. Body karate. Yeah. Luckily, I don't even know what that means. Body karate. <laughs> you got that body karate. <laughs> Again, kids, say no to drugs. Because this is this is what happens. <laughs> Clearly it stunts your growth and it makes you gay, <laughs> apparently, and say really retarded things. You're gonna get us thrown off the air for all those how, am I, how am I gonna get us thrown off the air? <laughs> hey, we got a four-way too. Is there a drug test in this office? <laughs> well, this policy violator right here. Oh my god. It's called the Aaron McGuire Bauer Fresh. Whatever the hell your name is, policy. That's what it's called. <laughs> <sighs> Facade? Yo, oh, oh, we're back to the show. Yeah, we You're are. You're bringing us back to the show. Okay. The debuting Josh Alexander? Yes. He's from Canada. Don't touch me ever again. <laughs> oh. Facade, Josh Alexander, Colin Delaney. Ooh, he's extremely cute. Oh, God. I mean, as a wrestler. That's my fault I walked right into that one. And Gary J. How do you feel? How do you feel? Are you attracted to Gary J. at all? Or I like when he wears that owl mask. Do you? Handsome. You're into furries, I guess. Is that what they call it? You would know that, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all called right. furries. That's what I call them. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, it's a four-way oh, match. Wow. That's going to be a great four-way match. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, you've got, you know, as we said, you're in love with Colin Delaney. He's in it. Josh Alexander. It's going to be a pretty good match. But now, let's transition to, I guess, for you, you might, I don't, well, no, actually, you'd be interested in the match because you're a bit of a bootlicker. Oh, man. You're, 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 you're a bit of a bootlicker, and I know you really lick the boots of Miss Veda Scott. Yeah, well, uh, as long as she didn't sue me, I, I would do, uh, you know, yeah, exactly. whatever you, she asked. You seem to be very, very nervous around her. Uh, well, sometimes it happens like that because I don't want to say the wrong thing ever around, but around Miss Scott. You said, Ms. Ms. Scott. You said the wrong thing 37 times in this podcast. No, 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 no. I said the right things. I just have to get them cleared by Miss Scott. Before we go any further, she right. has to approve everything here. She's you, she's you should get to know her really well. I mean, she's a great attorney, uh, at, at, at not attorney legal advisor. I don't like legal advisors. <laughs> anyway, I, she's taking on Mia Yim. She's taking on Mia Yim fresh off her steel cage defeat at Girls Night Out 7 at the hands of the women's champion, Allison Kay. She's looking to bounce back. And Beta Scott actually won her match at Girls' Night Out. Of course she did. Well, she won that match. She won the, uh, the fight she had in court. Which fight? She won the, the heart and, and the soul of one Mr. Gregory Iron. How lucky can one woman be? It's not luck when all these things happen at one time. It's skill. The woman is skilled, and I like that. Okay, you've you've made a very strong case for her love. Okay. And when she kicks you to the curb, your seat will be warm at commentary for you. Oh. Moving right along, as we like to say, we have got our next match is people have been, are really excited about this match. I am. Really excited. The the Facebook and the Twitter have been blowing up as soon as we announced it. Social media. Social media has been on fire since we announced Hot. Irish Airborne Ooh. versus Future Shock. Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly at point break. <laughs> I mean, you talk about fans requesting a match and getting it. I actually, that's I don't even know that they knew that this could be possible, but it is. Well, that's what that's what we do here at AIW. We we we, we kind of take the fans' opinions. We kind of see who they ask for on our Facebook, on our Twitter, and we try to make it happen. And this one. So whose idea was this? Wadsworth? You're telling me Whitey Wadsworth, that idiot? No, I'm not gonna get him. The credit. guy who funds him. I'm, and that was his, it was probably him. Oh, I gotta meet this guy. Huh? Talk about a pay raise here. Yeah, that's after this. Yeah, uh, You'll be, be lucky to keep your job after this. Oh, snap. So, <laughs> you know, it, but you bring it on yourself. You're wearing a hat for crying out loud. Yeah, well, you know what? I had just a t shirt on, and then I bumped into Whitey Wadsworth on the way here. Let me borrow this bad boy. Whitey? Yeah, Whitey Wadsworth. That's what they call him in the locker room. Who calls him that? In the they. Movie? They do? Yeah, a lot of people. Whitey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, he is white. So uh, ACH and Aeroform, they call him that. That's kind of racist. I know. That's why I got to talk to those guys. They got to be more like me. I'm politically correct. 
Oh, you're I'm damn no. proud of it. You're a douche, is what you are. Anyway, moving along to the tag team championship match. Yeah. So now we got we got four title matches on okay. this show. Mm -hmm. Four, four of them. Wow. First one tag titles. Mm -hmm. Freshly won at Absolution Seven, the Batiri. Yeah. Will Veronica Ticklefeather be there? Oh, I hope she tickles my feather. Now, okay, now you're back to girls. My feather. Now you're back to girls. I don't even know what that means. I don't either. I think they said that in the 20s. But, uh, and I know, I would know because I'm old. I'll just beat you to it. <laughs> they are taking on Aeroform, looking to regain. Right, with Jeff Flexer. The... Is Flexer going to be there? I would assume he's going to be there. I like when Flexer's there because he's got industries. He does, and he has a chest that he flexes, which you, I, I'm sure. Have you ever seen it? No. I, I turn I'm away. I turn away What's because the it's shame blind. that bird chest it's, you guys do? It's blind. He's just flexing that bird chest. Dude. Bird McManus chest. or whatever your name is. Bird chest? There ain't nobody spare. Yeah. What's a, that's a bird chest. That's a bird chest. <laughs> it's that right there. You barely can see it. Uh, chest flexor, he's a man who walks around with pride. Yeah, that's why, I gotta, money. That's why I gotta stand sideways just so you fit in the picture. Anyway. Let's go on to the women's championship match. Okay. You want to do yeah, that? Yeah, Is that okay? I'd like to get All right. That. Allison K. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned earlier, victor of the aforementioned steel cage match from Girls Night Out Seven. That's right. Taking on Crazy Mary Dobson in an AIW Women's Championship match. Well, you know this match had to happen because of the new point system implemented that is true. in the Girls Night Out series in the brand of Girls Night Out. Crazy Mary, next contender. She's getting her shot, and we're not even waiting to another Girls' Night Out event. We're doing it at Point Break on 923. No, because again, again, it's 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 the social media. The people mm -hmm. seem to really enjoy Crazy Mary. Mm -hmm. They like they like her attitude. They like her, shall we say, antics. Yes. They now do. I have not gotten word from Whitey Wadsworth. I Whitey, yeah, yeah. If this is a if this is a Pondo Rules match, or if this is going to be straight wrestling, <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out that night. I, I guess we'll find out that night. I'm sure even if it's straight wrestling, Crazy Mary will have something under the ring, perhaps some thumbtacks. Perhaps like Pondo! <laughs> What's scarier than that? That would be really <laughs> oh, weird. That would be weird if she attacked <laughs> Allison K with Pondo. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you okay? No, she stabs people. She, with Pondo? Good. They get crazy Pondo can't wow. the skin. He's all round. He's not sharp. He's not sharp. I understand that. He could stab me. You ever seen him in somebody with that stop sign? Can't stop Pondo. Okay. Now, final two matches. Double main event as dubbed by you. Yeah, that's right. He dubbed it double main event. Mm -hmm. First one in Tense Championship. That's right. Eddie Kingston takes on the champion BJ Whitmer. Man. <laughs> Talk about a dream match right there. People wanted but it. A dream rematch. But it had to. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened before. It's going to happen again. But now, the intense title's on the line. I mean, BJ, he ain't ducking and dodging nobody. He wins a title and then puts it up against possibly the best opponent he could absolutely have. That is true. That is true. BJ. My hat's off to you, BJ. Oh, my God. Put it back on. Oh, dear back Lord. On. Wow. I lost my train of thought there for a second. Um. Well, we have we have Turner's Hall known for their trains. We've got one more match, I believe, uh -huh. if I remember correctly. Uh -huh. ACH and Tim F. and Donst in a heavyweight championship match for the absolute <laughs> title. Oh, boy. I told you. It's a double main event. And just like <laughs> just like you said about BJ, Tim Donst wins his match and mm -hmm. right away faces perhaps the fastest rising star in AAW, ACH. Well, their, their career is kind of paralleled. I mean, it had to happen. It's like Tim Don's career started in AIW started the same way that ACH's, except Tim Don's took him two years to get this title. ACH might only take him half the time, one year. That's a lot of math for you in one sense. Oh, so. man, I you love math. You need to sit down or you mm -hmm. okay? Uh, well, we'll talk about that later. All right, I got some ideas. So there we go, every match for Point Break. AIW's next big show at Turner's Hall, September 23rd. Special. Special. As voted by the idiots. Sick fans. Yeah, fans. I just said you love I said you love the people. Ham and eggers. Okay, Heenan. Anyway, you should come up with your own material. You'd probably be much better. 6 o'clock, special bell time, September 23rd, AIW Point Break. If I wasn't on the commentary team and I wanted to buy a ticket, how would I do that? Well, you come to my house, and no. I've got a couple that I could really I ain't going to your house. Okay, I got some in my back pocket right now. I could, well, this isn't an official ticket. I mean, how about, yeah, I could, for, 
let's just go to AIWrestling.com and log on, and you can purchase tickets right on that website for September 23rd Point Break, AIW. Okay, now you can come, you can come back. Oh. I don't know what you want. You're pulling anything out of your pocket. Last time that happened, we got seven restraining orders. Well, get ready for eight. Oh, good Point lord. Point break, September 23rd, Turner's Hall, baby, bring me that money. <laughs> oh, snap. We'll see you there. <laughs>